Hey guys, Oria here to show you more or less how to play around with the DDS files, that is the texture files, of your Acme folder to change the appearance of things in game, such as casuals and um, armors. Now the first thing we'll have to do is go into our Acme folder, C3 folder, then the texture folder, and open up a DDS file to play around with. So I'm going to open up this one. It's the, f the texture file for the Obsidian Mail. I'm going to show you a little bit how to play around with Photoshop as well, and um, how to use the layers and the brush and the tools, etc. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer. This is one of Photoshop's uh, most useful features. Uh, Actually, the layer system is what makes me prefer Photoshop over Microsoft Paint. <laughs> okay, so you can make a new layer by clicking here. Or going layer, new layer, new layer. Clicking OK. okay basically, what a layer does is it uh, creates another layer to another canvas, basically, to uh, protect the layers underneath it from any permanent uh, editing. So I can make scribbles on this top layer and it won't affect the layer underneath. So I can move this around as much as I want to or I can delete it and it won't affect anything that's underneath it because it's on its own layer. Okay, so I've got my new layer and let's say that I don't like this scribbly pattern that they have on the, the bottom part of the Obsidian Mail. So I'm going to use my uh, skills to take that out somehow. Okay, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to select co uh, colors that's next to the, uh, the part I'm going to edit. Sort of click around. take it out. I'm not a very accurate clicker, so I'm doing my best. And Photoshop's being kind of slow. I'm not sure why. Inaccuracy strikes again. There we go. And again. Now I'm kind of messing up here. Okay, so we've kind of covered that up, but now we have a little problem. As you can see, these edges over here that we just painted over are kind of uh, hard. They don't really blend in with the rest of the, the texture. So another useful feature that Photoshop has is the filters, all the filters, and then the blur filter is one I actually use quite a bit. So we'll go filter, blur, and then use this Gaussian blur. Kind of pick a nice radius. Okay, this isn't working well. What Photoshop's gone done now is blurred so much that pieces of our layer underneath are showing through. So I'm just gonna go with my eyedropper tool and my brush and kind of cover that up again. There we go, and blur it one more time. Okay, that's a little bit messy, but you get the point. So uh, we've covered that up uh, more or less seamlessly. Of course you can go back and go at it some more to make it look even better but since this is a short tutorial and I don't have a lot of time I'm going to just leave it how it is. Now you can do more with, uh, with the texture than just this but one thing you have to remember is that you can't alter the shape from the texture file. 
since there is a separate mesh file for the shape of the, uh, the casual or whatever you're editing, you can only edit the colors and uh, textures from this file. Okay, let's see. Uh, if there's something else you want to edit, say some colors. Let's say you don't want this, uh, the glovey part of the obsidian mail to be red. We're going to select the lasso tool or use the hotkey L and select the glove. Yeah, I'm kind of messy here, but... Okay. Make sure you've got your background layer selected, because otherwise, um, if you got it on an empty layer, it's not going to do anything. So we'll go Image, Adjustments, Hue, Saturation. Change the slider, let's say, to this uh, tealy color. And play with the sliders until you're happy with it. Click OK. There we've... Uh, well, it does look different now, doesn't it? Haha. <laughs> And uh, you can, of course, be a little bit more creative than I was, but since this is just a basic tutorial, um, yeah, you can only teach yourself to be creative. I can't do that for you. Good luck and have fun editing. <laughs>